Today we are going to see non-static methods, how to create and how to call them in three different places. In the same class, in another class of same package, another package class how to call. So let's see what is a non-static method or instance method. If a method doesn't contain static keyword, then that method is called non-static method. The syntax of non-static method is access modifier, return type, method name, parenthesis, curly basis start, method body inside, you write the logic, curly basis end. So again, non-static methods are two categories, parameterized and without parameters, right? If a method contains a parameters within parenthesis, then that method is called parameterized instance method. And syntax is access modifier, void, method name, parenthesis, data type, P1, comma, data type, P2, comma, data type, P3, and so on. How many parameters you want, you can mention in your method name, parenthesis inside. Then all these parameters you must use in the method body logic. Then this is a simple example, public void set EMP name, parenthesis string name so i need to use this name parameter inside the method body that's a mandatory non-parameterized instance method if method doesn't contain any parameters within the parenthesis zero parameters then that is called void method without parameters so access modifier void method name parenthesis curly basis start the logic and curly basis end this is the method structure of with void without parameters. The other one is a non-static method with void with parameters. Two, two methods we have seen. Without void keyword, the instance method syntax is access modifier data type. I told you void place, data type is going to come. Data type can be anything, primitive or non-primitive data type. Both you can write here. And method name, parenthesis, curly basis. To write the logic, the logic after finally you return the variable. So the some variable you are storing, right? That value you return with return keyword. Example protected string get emp name. So return name. Directly you can write the return keyword line itself. You can write the logic. If you don't want to write multiple lines. Yesterday we are written multiple lines, right? You can avoid that. Entire logic is written in single return statement itself. Right? It will calculate and that output will be written. Not necessarily always you have to store in a variable. Yeah. Once you keep practicing, you will get to know that. Okay. And second one with the parameters without wide keyboard. Access modifier, data type, method name, parenthesis, data type P1, comma, data type P2. So this is the how we can write uh, without parameter without wide keyword with parameters. So logic return the value. So this is all four types of methods: two with wide, two without wide. Again, for just a static keyword won't be there. Again, structure is same. Again, structure is same. No change. Only static keyword you are not going to see in the method prototype line this is a method prototype line right and static won't be there uh, without wide wide keyword won't be there these are the conditions if you follow you can create any kind of methods okay i have four types of methods in my class how can you access execute non-static members under main method or any other static method any other method so how can you execute them how can you call them by creating object for the class, for that class. Which class non-static members you are calling? That class you need to create object. How to create object for a class? Using new keyword. Main new keyword is going to create object. And the local variable syntax is class name, reference of object equal to new, Class name parenthesis semicolon. This is the how to create object. And which is the object here? The right side portion is an object. 
right side entire pot is an up. So when you create this line, what will happen? In the heap memory, in the heap memory, the memory address will be created for that object. So memory address is an integer number. Memory address is just an integer number. Okay. So the memory address will be created here in the heap. So that address is pointed by some variable. So that variable is called reference variable. So what is a reference variable definition? If a variable pointing to the object or referring to the object is called reference variable. So how can you define reference variable? Any variable that is pointing to object or referring to object is called reference variable. So what the reference variable holds? The address of the object will be stored in the reference variable. So what is there in the reference variable? What is stored in the reference variable? The memory address of this object, the integer number, the hash code, the integer number of this object will store in this reference variable. So what is the data type of this reference variable? The class name is the data type. Remember always reference variable data type must be either class or interface name is the data type for your reference variable we have seen normal variables right local variables but this is also local category it comes under reference variable comes under local category so because why it is a local because the variable name before the data type is there that is class class is one data type it's a non primitive data type i already mentioned Class is a non primitive data type. So that's why data type variable name equal to this is the assignment operator assigning this memory address value in this variable. So that's a very clearly you can understand. If you understand the assignment operator, then you won't make any mistakes. You have to deeply understand the assignment operator, what it does. I explained clearly. This right side value is copied into this variable that's the assignment operator what it is going to okay i created object how to call the non-static methods reference variable dot non-static method see for a static you call it with the class name but non-static you are calling non-static with object to reference variable so that's the reference variable how you can use a reference of object you can use to call non-static methods and uh, non-static variables how can you call non-static variables reference of object dot non-static variable that's how you are going to call all non-static stuff it doesn't matter where you are calling in the same class or in another class or another package class it doesn't matter where the rule is not going to change what is the rule the fundamental concept is first create an object for the class how can you create object for the class so either local variable syntax or global variable syntax it's up to you but this is the local variable syntax is class name reference variable equal to new space class name parenthesis semicolon this entire new class name both combinedly will call as a object. So what is the object here? The right side one. New class name parenthesis is called object. Then only class name parenthesis, what you call this? It's a default constructor. So default constructor. Why I'm calling default constructor? And there is no parameters in the parenthesis. That's why that is a default constructor we call this. If you don't have a, any constructor in the class, the compiler will create one default constructor for every class. That's why you are able to create object for the class. Otherwise, it is not possible to create object without constructor. Constructor is mandatory to call the Non static members. Constructor is the only one invoking those objects. Right? So, how it, it is going to invoke? So, because constructor is there in the object line. So, that's how it initialize the state of your non static 
methods and non-static variables. That is the uh, constructor main purpose. Okay, are we clear now? The object why you need to create and how to call the non-static variables and non-static method. It doesn't matter where in the same class or in another class or another package class. Anywhere only single concept. What is that? Create object for the class. How can you create object using new keyword? So what is the syntax? Class name, reference of object equal to new class name parenthesis semicolon. That's the object creation process. And this already explained again, explaining many times this one because this is the only topic crucial for the methods. So you will see how many times you are going to use this this syntax. Why? Because that class has a non static members. If I want to call that non static members, I need to create object. That's a simple logic. Static thing, you don't need object. Did we create an object yesterday? Till yesterday? No, right? You just called static methods in the same class directly, but you are crossing the class. You are calling the static members in another class. You're just referring with a class name. That's what we did yesterday. But non static stuff, single concept. Anywhere in the same class, another class, or another package class, anywhere it doesn't matter. If that class has a non static members, what is the single concept? Create object for the class. Which class non static members you want to call? For that class, you create object. So, how to create object? With a new keyword, you can create object. Wherever new keyword is there, so simply say that's an object. This is the object. New class name parenthesis is the object. And that is pointed by this variable. That's why reference variable is a pointing object. That's why reference variable of object. And how, how can you call all these object members? So what are all the object members? What are all the object members? What are all will be stored in this object member? What are all will store in this memory address? Object means memory address, right, in the heap. So what are all will store? Which type of members will store here? Variables, methods, constructors, blocks. What, what, what type of variables? <coughs> Why are you telling a class uh, members uh, get only non-static variables and non-static methods? Nothing else. I told you in the variable time also, right? In the heap memory, non-static variables will store and non-static methods also will come and store. This I very clearly I explained here in the memory address. See, this is the new class name parenthesis, right? That's the memory address. What it will store? All the non-static variables and non-static methods in that memory address. It will store. Same here also. Same here also. In this memory address, I'll see only non static data and non static methods. In the memory address, object inside, what will be there? These are all objects, all non static variables, non static methods are the objects. The members of that object is non static data, non static methods. Then, how can you call each non static data? By object reference. I don't know how many times I explained, you are forgetting because of. Repeating multiple times, I'm a bit surprised. Because of repeating multiple times, you're forgetting. I don't understand this, why you're forgetting. Already we did a practically in the instance variables, in the static methods, in the local variables concept. Three times I explained this concept. Am I right? Why you need to create object, I have shown you. What Sirisha and Swati, did I explain there or not? And you won't talk, I know that. Silence is the only answer. Okay. Yes, sir. So what is anonymous object? Anonymous object means what? Create an object for a class without a reference variable. Then that object is called anonymous object. No reference variable. The left part won't be there. That is called anonymous object. Direct object. This is called anonymous object. New class name parenthesis is called anonymous object. No reference variable. Then when can you use with the reference variable? When can you use without reference variable? That's the question. You will get in your mind, right? So let me give you clarity there. So with this object refer with this object direct with anonymous object, you can call the all this object. This is the object, right? 
when once you call new class name parenthesis memory address will create every time you call new class name new memory will create in the heap and you can call the method so done that object is different you call one more object you want to call again you have to create one more object non static method too that means you are wasting memory here right if you want to call multiple methods of same class every time you need to create object with the anonymous object that's not the right behavior right you are you are keep on occupying the memory that won't give a best performance of the application then how can i avoid that so then go for this you create object one time and point to some reference variable with this reference variable you can call n number of that object to members see that reference variable non static method reference variable non static same single object reference you are using to call multiple non static methods and non static variables so when you can go with the reference variable if you want to call multiple methods non static methods and non static variables of that class or that object then go for with the reference variable so when you need to go with the reference variable when you need to create object with the reference variable if you want to call multiple non static methods and non static variables or at least more than one you want to call always go with the reference no i want to call only single method of that object then go for anonymous object then what is the advantage you are reducing the number of lines code so if you want to call single line in single line itself i can create object that object member i can call single line it will be finished everything object creation calling the method everything over in single line you are reducing the number of lines of code with anonymous object but if you want to create more than one method don't use anonymous object are you guys clear now when to use anonymous object when you should not use and when to use this with the reference variable mesh gar mallo ka sar cheppara ee anonymous di and idi heap lo store avutunda malli meda new class name is always goes to store in the heap only another object meda another memory it will create here okay this is the object right i what i told you new class name parenthesis is the object what i i clearly told what i told here anonymous object okay. anonymous means what you don't have any reference for that that's it but that's an object another kind of object so another object this also creates memory here in the heap this also creates a memory in the heap but in this heap memory address this methods will be all that class members again non static members will go and store in that memory address again one copy will created in that memory address again but to call single method only will use this concept single method or single variable you will use this anonymous object concept but if you want to call multiple what will happen again you need to create object one more time but that object address again it will be different this object address this object address both are different not same memory address is different i'll show you two different objects if you create memory address are not same so right like this if you create object this object maybe you will see 1 2 3 and next time if you create again new class name that will be 4 5 6 the address is different entirely every time memory will be different memory will allocate for every time you call new class name every time you call new class name parenthesis it is going to create a new memory in the heap how many times you call that many memories will be created in the heap are you clear now dinni class lo okate sari call cheyalna like oka package lo one time ena lekunta number of times you can call object you can create n number of times madam okay ha anonymous antunnaru kada ippudu deenni maatrame meeru one method one member of that object okay so many members will be there right one member mm -hmm. if you want to call you can use anonymous object concept. only one member of that object you can use anonymous why you need to use it reduces first line you need to create object generally here right then second line you are calling right second line you are calling the method 
but here okay. what is happening in single line itself you are finishing everything creating object and calling the method also is it clear now it's in the same class how to call non static members i told you single as in a single concept create object for the class so class name object reference equal to new class name parenthesis so first question i have four methods right four methods and non static variables i have what are the four methods all uh, void without parameters void with parameters without void without parameters without void with the parameters these four kinds of methods i have in my class and some non static variable data so how can i call them in the same class main method so what is the concept create object for the class how to create object class name object reference equal to new class name parenthesis again how to create object why do you need to create object so do you have a questions for all these questions you do you have answers for these questions just think why i am creating object get a question in your mind first then answer automatically it will come and if you are not getting question so you won't get answer so why you need to create object to call non static members of that class okay i created object where it will go and store in the heap memory the memory will be created in that memory all the non static members will be copied to that memory address every non static variable and non static method will go and copy into that memory address shall i create one more object for the same class of course you can do n number of object for the same class the memory address are same no every object memory address is different each memory object same variable same methods will copy yes same variable same non static methods will go and copy into each memory address how many objects you created that many times same instance variables instance methods will go and copy there then each memory object reference you use to call that member that's the basic concepts of non static stuff how to deal okay how can you call non static void method under main method in the same class so you created object then object reference dot non static method without object reference you are not allowed to call non static stuff non static stuff means non static methods non static variables any time you want to call non static methods and non static variables you must use object reference that's the first thing done how can you call non static void parameterized method under main method in the same class object reference dot non static method parameter 1 comma parameter 2 so that's the void methods how to call i have shown you now return type methods very very important point how can you call return type non static method you know what is mean by return type that method is returning a value to you so data type of the method variable name equal to object reference dot return type non static method see this is the value and that value i am storing in a variable where you will get this method this data type in the method signature in the method signature you have see that the method name before data type is there this data type is you have to write here that is one i am talk okay so then the value is stored in this variable you can print it or you can use in the next lines of code then how to call return type non static method in the print statement system dot out dot print ln write the readable statement readable statement plus object reference dot return type non static method or return type non static variable it doesn't matter okay so methods calling is over anybody having doubt ramesh when we are creating multiple objects the reference variable name will not be same right we need to change slightly right so will you give a local variable same no 
What will happen if you give same? It will not. It will throw an error. Same, right? Local variable only, right? Reference variable. Yeah. You should give always different reference variable. You should not give same. Okay. Because each memory address is different, right? Yeah. So you have to refer different with a different variable. Because you are just object address you are storing in that reference variable. Every object address is an integer number. It's just an integer number. You are just storing in the reference variable. That's it. That's why you have to give a local variables. You cannot give variables. You should not be a duplicate, right? Every time you have to give EQ name. Any other questions? How can you access non-static variable in the same class under main method? So maybe I'm just uh, doing some calculation here. All non-static data I'm calling in the main method. I'm doing the calculation. Object reference non-static variable one plus. I'm just doing a sum here. So what are the mathematical operation? You do that. I'm just showing here main to show interest how you are calling the non-static variable. So how you are calling with the object reference. Then second ob variable object reference dot non-static variable two. This time summing up these two variable data storing in this local variable. That this output you know both integers means you will get integer type of data. And you can store in the local variable. So here you are calling a variable means what you will get. You will get a data. What that variable one has what type of data it has the data will come. You are calling the variable name means what you will get. Data is what is stored in that variable plus this data both you are summing up the output you are storing here in this output variable and that output is of type this data type. You decide that integer of lota what is the data type next are you want to call in the print statement so system dot out dot print and non static variable value is plus object reference dot non static variable that's how to call anywhere these formulas are fixed it doesn't change same formulas in the same class another class another package class but for static it is changing right every time but non static it doesn't change only one concept object reference dot non static method object reference dot non static method never going to change see that second scenario so before going to second scenario any questions ask many doubts then only will get clarified if you're silent you won't uh, get the things don't be silent this can be a sim simply single question or no simple question or a very silly question don't feel like that right ask it can be anything right so maybe you are still facing the problem okay you are not going to change i cannot do anything okay scenario two how can you call another class this non-static members again create object for the class there also which class you need to create object which class members you are calling for that class you have to create object class name object reference equal to new class name parenthesis so how can you call one class static variable in another class object reference dot non static variable how can you call one class non static method in another class object reference dot non static method how can you call non static parameterized method object reference dot non static method just give parameter one value parameter two value and so on how can you call return type non static method so data type of the method variable name equal to object reference dot return type non static method so then you can use this variable value anywhere in the program so if it is a local variable in that in that method only you can use so how can you call return type non static method in the print statement system dot out dot print ln just read the readable statement plus object reference dot return type non static method anywhere it's a single concept so let's move on to the programs any questions okay so i would i don't want to wait let's move on so create a new class non static members demo or instance members demo any class you can create just create that so related name you give so what you are doing in this class that related name you can give that is instance members demo i'll just give instance member demo instance member means instance variables and instance so what is instance variable syntax uh, 
Swati, what is instance variable syntax? Sirisha, Raghu. Access modifier, data type, variable name equal to value. That's the answer, right? Yeah. When we finish it, private string s equal to Java. So then char c equal to small a and protected. So int i equal to 25. Public float f equal to 7.5f. So like this, you can create your non-static data. All four non-static variables I have created four non-static variables s is a one non-static variable which has a private access modifier c is a non-static data which is having a default access modifier so i is one non-static data which is having protected access modifier f is a another non-static data which is having public access modifier now so i'll create a all non-static methods now so non-static method syntax is access modifier to so wide method name parenthesis curly basis logic. So I'm going to show you all the character demo here. So let's play around with the characters. Private wide char demo. I'm going to use characters. So play around with these characters. So I want one wide method without parameters. That's what I'm doing. Very simple methods. Started executing the instance member demo class so that you can understand from where this is coming so the method name is char demo okay so see that i have a c a is there so what is the ascii code of uh, small a 65 capital a 65 capital a capital a 65 capital a 65 small a is uh, 95 97 small a is having 97 it starts with 97 small a all the small letters so small b having 98 small c is having 99 small d 100 like this capital a starts with a 65 capital b 66 and so on right that's the uh, uh, this alphabets where the ascii code will start now i'll play around with this uh, c and a see that so int uh, i1 equal to c plus 1 why i put an integer because c plus if you use a mathematical operators what i told you even though it is a character it will participate that ascii code will participate so now 97 plus 1 will come that output will store in the i1 97 plus 1 98 right 98 is an integer number or character integer number so integer number that's why i stored in the left side in the integer i1 variable now i want i1 character how can you get i1 character so you are saying that so i1 to the character so let's take a c1 okay now why it is throwing error see that red mark read the red mark Put a on that red mark type this match cannot convert from int to character why what is the reason here why it is throwing a type mismatch character here? character c is equal to a you shown first time there again you are taking there that's why it's showing it yes that's the answer any other answers no it could a character c me define chest and then you could error to be seen me receive an ear kunda oh can see okay so the main reason here is the right side one is a bigger memory size and you cannot store in the 16 bit memory so 32 bit is the integer that you cannot store in the 16 bit so that's why it is throwing a type mismatch error so what we need to do we need to typecast it how can you do typecast just before the right side variable put a left side data type then this integer will convert into character format and you'll go you won't get any problem now c1 is so i'll write i1 equal character character is so i have to write in double quotes this entire thing so i1 value will cut so i1 value whatever is there that we will get i1 ascii code equal character is what is the equal character and is stored in the c1 now that's one okay next Ramesh, one question. Um, instead of int, if you take a short, 
will that still ask for the type casting or it won't so it will same same data type right it won't ask here you are here you are talking this yeah. i1 this in i1 I anything is that is also one data type right but still it is asking integer only it is will store not short so not less than c plus one always give you integer only not short so short and byte you cannot store this the sum value always written say integer value not the short data okay. short in so if i put a short it is it was throwing error because this is a 32 bit data so that it is saying type mismatch cannot convert from int to short so this output c plus one output is an integer not the short and if you want short again short again do a type test okay so that's the one thing and then next thing i want to write few more things i'll use this uh, type casting i'm just explaining type casting uh, you can do uh, i will add so c plus i will add so i want character char c2 equal to c plus i c plus i means almost uh, oh, it is going to be very big right let's see who, what character you are going to get it so it is crossing 26 numbers only 26 alphabets only right but some other special characters you will get so what is this c2 we'll see that so that means uh, 97 plus 25 almost you will get a very big one right almost 115 right so 122 122 so we'll see what is that and so c2 value is just uh, playing around these characters. We are converting all the integers into characters. That's it. I don't want to do much here. That's one thing. And last one, next method is parameterized method. Access modifier, void, method name, parenthesis, data type, P1. So data type, P2. Why I'm writing this, at least into catch, Multiple times, if you write, you will get the syntaxes. If you get the syntaxes, you can create methods anytime. That's why I'm writing the syntaxes. Let's use public void. So this also I'm going to do. Let me write a so document comment. So what the document comment will do? So this method just defines about characters i am writing the uh, what this method is doing in this document comment and here also all right i'm going to swap two numbers with the third variable this is a very important yesterday we did without third variable here we are doing with the third variable swap with third variable so in x comma in y so two integer numbers i'm swapping using third variable so let's write this uh, definition what this means see that when i write a document comment the parameter names is coming automatically here so after writing a method structure you put a document comment the uh, parameters will come here now so this method swaps two integers using third variable that's a definition i'm giving for this method what this method is doing tomorrow a new person comes you can see this document comment and you can understand what this method is doing right if you don't write how people will understand so the document comment is used to explain about your method about your class that's a document comment but this is a single line comment but this one is a forward slash star star then press enter key and this uh, document comment will form automatically then i'm explaining so let's write started executing the okay class swap so we can understand from which class this method is coming that's why i'm writing my print state so let's uh, expand this so that you can see complete code now i'll print um before swapping x value is so this see the variable the parameter name i'm using here plus x value plus so i want to read some readable statement what is the readable statement y value is my readable statement readable statement must be always in double quotes if you want value join with plus operator so that's a 
this parameter I have used here now. Okay, fine. So how we can do again? You are going to use a plus operator, minus operator to do swapping? No. I'm going to use only one that is assignment operator to achieve this. So use assignment operator. Use assignment operator. What is the assignment operator? This is the assignment operator. Use assignment operator to achieve this. To achieve this operation. Okay. Only assignment operator we are going to use to achieve that. Let's see that. I'll declare local variable int temp equal to x. So what I did? What I did here? Copying x value to temporary variable. Storing x value in temp variable. Temp local variable. Third variable, right? I'm using the third variable. So what I did? Only assignment operator I have used. I didn't use any a plus or minus all these things like yesterday. Then y equal to x. So again, I stored x value in the y. No, no, not x equal to y. So I stored y value into x. I stored y value into x. Then y equal to temporary value. This is the how you can uh, swap the values. What is happening first? X value you store in the temporary variable. So x value went and stored in the temporary variable. Now y value I stored into x value so second step storing y value in x next next step what we are doing a temporary variable what value is there x value is there that x value i'm assigning to y store temp value temporary value right temporary value in y so automatically it's swap so that's a very simple logic and uh, so you can do before after swapping after swapping x value and y value that's it are you clear just assignment operator we are using. First to store the Economy percentage would have got together. Why percentage? Just time. I'm not going to be a swap. The grammar is not going to In case my percentage is going to be a float and it's a percentage. I'm not going to be a good one. I'm not going to be a good one. I'm not going to no, 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 no. This is only swapping. You cannot use percentage, all those things. That's a division thing. Uh, division yeah. thing is percentage means remainder will give you. This is not a task remainder, madam. This is Nina Miru swapping. Swapping, yeah. I didn't use a percentile, madam. I used plus and minus operator only in the swapping. We can give that one. That is, how can you give, madam? This entire this task is different. This method task is you have to place that y value should come to x, x value should go to y. That's a swapping. And you don't need to use that. That's what I'm saying. Only equal operator you are using, that is assignment operator. You should not use other, if you use any other things, you cannot achieve this task. You oh, cannot can achieve this swapping. Inna nain chase na puru na kera ra chinda andu ke andu ke aadu thunna. Just na kadiya. You cannot okay. use. You should not use that. That's not the right way. See, so you should not do that. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. here I, in the swapping, I used plus operator, minus operator only. With again assignment operator, right? So these are the clear syntaxes. This is never going to change. If you want to swap, always use this syntax. So it doesn't change. This logic you can use anywhere. If you want to swap with the third variable, the fixed logic. You have to remember this logic. First value assign to temporary variable, and then second value assign to first value, and then and the temporary variable value assign to second parameter. That will be swap. Okay, that's it. Um,